And we are back briefly for uh, a big of a bit of an update on the other Game of Thrones spinoff, Night of the Seven Kingdoms. We we got the casting update for the two main leads, Sir Duncan the Tall and Aegon Targaryen, fifth of his name. Um, and as you can see here, there they are, Peter Claffey and Dexter Soul Ansel will be the two main leads. And I gotta say, somehow Preston, yeah, despite the man's name being Duncan, Sir Duncan the Tall. You're still taller than him. The dude's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, You're still somehow taller than this guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally speaking, that not that many tall people go into... Not many people that are super tall or super short go into acting. Um, generally speaking, it's because they want actors... Most people start in stage, and they want stage actors to be relatively the same height. And and so, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of short kids and tall kids, like, talk about this, like like a bias in high school of never getting the parts because uh so it, it, it's rare to find people my height and there's there, there's some people i mean tim robbins is, is is tall the guy who played zephyr cochran and in, in first contact is super tall you know um or, or people that came in through untraditional means like the rock i mean isn't the rock super tall I have no idea, but you know who who's like really super duper tall, six, taller than you. Yeah, I think is uh, the guy who does um, the fin the Finnish actor who plays Chewbacca in the new the new Star Wars stuff. And yeah. have you ever seen Jojo Rabbit? Yeah. Who's the guy, the creepy looking, incredibly tall man who does the Heil Hitler scene where he says Heil Hitler to the boy and then to Freddie Finkel who was Theon Greyjoy and he, that guy is ridiculously tall. Yeah. Yeah. But also, even when you list see people listed in their height, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's height is listed as six two. I've met Arnold Schwarzenegger; he was not six two. You know, like I was like, no, he was like six feet. Like you know, people people also like have these weird lie about lie about their height kind of kind of things that 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 people put in. But I believe that this guy's six three. Um, it tends By the to way. Be the uh yeah. The actor from Jojo Rabbit, Stephen Merchant, who is six seven, one inch six taller seven. than you. There, mm. there it is. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Uh, but no, uh, these are these are our, our two main characters. Now, I know when we first got the casting news for House of the Dragon, you were not keen on Matt Smith as Daemon Targaryen. I think no. we. I think he's kind well, of grown I, 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 you know, I I was not keen, but he he does, he he's done a he's done a fantastic job. He's 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 made up he's made up for it. I I didn't think he looked to the role. But, you know, not looking the role, like, not looking that you can make up for not looking the role. Like, I don't think uh, Alfie Allen looks like Theon, okay? I don't think Peter Dinklage looks like Tyrion, okay? As described uh, in story, no, Theon is supposed to be a very, very good looking boy. Very, very Damn. good looking. You Alfie know? Allen taking shots. God. Alfie Allen's, Alfie Allen's a normal looking guy. Okay. <laughs> like he's not, <laughs> he's no very handsome Theon Greyjoy. Um, you know, uh, Yara does, you know, Asha is supposed to be better looking than, than Yara. Uh, Tyrion is supposed to be worse looking than, than the Brad Pitt of dwarves. Uh, um, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, First off, you know, Matt Smith definitely looks like, you know, he's a product of it. I, yeah. That's fucked up. I should yeah. say you, that. You can, you can make up for stuff. I mean, Lena Headey is a beautiful woman, but Cersei Lannister is supposed to be the most beautiful woman to ever exist. So, like, what are you supposed to do? So what do you think of Duncan? Uh, first off, this Peter Claffy guy, by the way, we're, we're going to get so much shit for talking about people's looks when you and yeah, I, I both do not look we're, like models We're so ourselves. shallow. We're so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> but um no uh peter claffy i looked him up i he is a relative unknown he's been in a couple of things but for the most part he's just you know a guy which i like i like mm. that when game of thrones first came out a lot of the actors of course exception with charles dance dinklage lena Headey, and sean bean everybody else was relatively unknown um both of these two are actually also unknowns so i like that yeah i like that thrones does that and so far i'm pretty sure Game of Thrones, 100%. House of the Dragon, maybe one or two people. But for the most part, Game of Thrones has had a, and it's been awesome, a pretty solid record of hiring good actors to portray the characters. Mm. So, um, yeah, I mean, I now I want to talk about um, Dexter Soul Ansel, 
Now, mm. so the uh, the kid's nine years old, mm-hmm. which means um, by the time they're they're filming and everything, he's going to be ten. Uh, which means by the time they're going to be filming the second season, he'll be twelve, and the, and the time they uh, do the third season, he'll be fourteen. So, doesn't doesn't wouldn't that make sense? Because the first Duncan Egg story, like yeah, Egg is young, and then in the second story, how many years is that after the second in the second story? Isn't that like two or three years? Uh, I'll have to I'll have to check on that. I mean, I'm not. I thought I well, I know there's hardly any time between the the second and third stories, but um, mm-hmm. it says. <clears throat> Hedge Knight. It's supposed to take place in 209. And then the Sworn Sword is supposed to take place in um this, this does it say here? A year a year and a half laugh after the Hedge Knight. Funny enough, did did you see my my Twitter post on on this? And then the last one is in is in uh, two two twelve. So um, yeah, so that that would make sense. Three years. Yeah. So we're talking about a year. Yeah, a year. Um, a year and a half brings us to twenty eleven. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's about yeah a year and a half, and then a year. So he'll be, you know, maybe he's he'll be on the young side for the first one, and then on the old side for the last one. But as you know, I, I don't think I don't think Egg's age is that important. Like honestly, um, you can age you can age Egg up and down in the story a little bit, and it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Like Egg isn't Egg isn't participating in any activities that really reveal his age too much you know i agree um did by the way the the, the reason you're bringing this up did, is it because you saw my my twitter posting because i said i'm i was basically saying the same thing when the news came out they better oh, start yeah. filming this quick yeah they better start filming this quickly because yeah, yeah. it's, it's gonna age like when brand went from being a little kid to a grown-ass man with hair on his chin so yeah but it, it's not like it's not like egg is egg is killing anyone it's not like egg is fucking anyone like he's not doing any like activities um, like that. The only thing he's doing is squiring and squires can be between the ages of, of nine and 18. So like, you know, Mm -hmm. like anything you want for a squire or if you're, or if you're Podrick Payne in the fucking show, you can be like 40 years old and still be a (laughs) squire. By the way, very weird, very weird if you want to touch on this very briefly. Um, yeah. Normally, whenever anything Game of Thrones news related comes out of HBO slash Max, uh, George is usually on it, but he posted something weird. I, I don't know. Did you, did you just check out his not a blog? I did. I did. Um, let's go. To, it, it, it's just one of these like we, meme things again. Words, words for our times. We're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at looking at the stars. Oscar Wilde. That's what he posted. What is that? What is that even? People are going to be like, winds of, uh, winds dream dream of spring. No, there's nothing. There's no. I'm a, I'm already looking here. Uh, the W and we, O and Oscar, W and what. There it is, confirmed. <laughs> but uh, anyway, no, I uh, wish there is more that we could actually say about. Um, it, it, but we have these two relatively unknowns. They're very, mm-hmm. they're very pretty, prettier than the characters in in story. May, I mean, maybe not Egg. I don't know. Egg is just he's never said to be remarkable, but he's 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 still a Targaryen, right? But right. Dunk Dunk is. Um, this this man's a little handsome to be dunk, but uh, <laughs> oh stop! Come yeah, on, yeah. Yeah, it's, mind, like fine. dunk dunk is tall and insecure, and um, you know this guy this guy does not look like he's gonna he should be insecure about anything. <laughs> 
I'm but that's the other have, thing like, is, is because hair and he does not. because he's only six two or six three that takes away like one of the major plot points of 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 um dunk and egg is that dunk is so tall that he's insecure about his height and so especially with regards to women and so when he actually finds a woman that's really tall he crushes on her because mm-hmm. uh, tansel too tall because he's, he's like yeah she's too tall but she's not too tall for me you know mm. he crushes on her and that's an, that crush is a very important i mean that crush is everything actually like if he doesn't have that crush, like, you know, then, the, the, like, everything doesn't happen, right? Everything. But, um, yeah, so it's a little, it's too bad. It's too, maybe they maybe they'll put him around short people or something or give him some lifts <laughs> to make him, make him HBO, tall. if you need some short guys, I'm available. I got you guys. You yeah. can cast me whatever you want. Right. <laughs> next, next, who, who are the next guys they have to cast? So Arlen and Penny Tree. Mm. Um, for for maybe a flashback. Um, I mean, if they really, really want to hone it in and like stretch this out a little bit, give it a couple episodes, six, seven episodes a season, yeah. eight maybe, you know, why not? Then we'd have the first episode with the actual actor and then he dies <sighs> at the end. All right. Here, here's a few things that I'm calling about the Duncan Egg show. Okay. Mm. So they obviously, they have to cast Arian. They have to ca- cast Daron. And, um, but... I guarantee that Eamon is going to make an appearance, even though he does not appear in the stories, in the three stories. <laughs> okay, guarantee that, they're going to put Eamon there. Um, they'll find, yeah, they'll find a way. And, but, you know, they, they, they got to ca- cast Makar and, and, and stuff like that. But that's about, that's about it. Tansel, Tansel, Tansel too tall. And, and Arian, I'm interested tree. Arian, yeah, Arian, you know, bright fire. You know, who the laughing storm is, and all that. You know the different characters, like the who who's going to be the Baratheon, who's going to be the uh, the um, the Fossaways, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, you, you know what? Upon looking at him a bit more, yeah, yeah, he's a very good looking guy. <laughs> he's a very good looking guy. They went, they went for, uh, they went for. Uh, I mean. I, I can already see the theories flying off about how Sir Duncan may be related to Brienne. Uh, what color are Gwendolyn Christie's eyes? Are her eyes that blue? Um, because I imagine. I mean, she's she's a natural blonde, right? I I believe so. Yeah, she's also six three. Uh, God damn, yeah. she's six. Yes, her eyes are blue. So there it is. Yeah. Brienne of Tarth, related to Dunk, confirmed about time. Uh, the one thing I am a little upset about, I'll be very real about it, I'm a little annoyed, upset about this. We only have three stories. I b- recently went through all three stories. I want more. So unless George, this is the one time I'll be okay with George not writing wins, is if he's writing another. If he's writing Sea Wolves. Yeah, or, or something yeah. for the show. Yeah. So I'd be cool with that. But for the most part, yeah, um, we're actually going ahead. We're doing what, what we're doing with Game of Thrones, what Disney's doing with Star Wars, and hopefully it is good. Because for those of you who don't know, what Disney's doing with Star Wars is every fucking year there's at least two to three Star Wars shows. To this year, um, we have Bad Batch currently going now, and then we're about to get Tales of the Empire on May fourth, and then Acolyte will be later this summer, and then. Um, uh, skeleton crew towards the end of the year. It's got. It's got to be game. It's going to be Game of Thrones. Criminal intent. Fear the Game <laughs> of Thrones. F- f- game of Thrones trial by jury. Game <laughs> of Thrones special victims unit. Game of Thrones Caprica. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> That's what we'll end it. Oh man, it's uh, it's. Hundred years, man. Hundred years. Hundred years. Yeah, baby. Hundred. Hey, look. We for, for House of the Dragon has been great. Honestly, I hated not. I hated ha- not having anything in the off season. So this will give us something in the off season. So House of the Dragon season two, twenty twenty four, and then Dunkin' Egg twenty twenty five, probably towards the end of twenty twenty five, and then House of the Dragon season two, twenty twenty six. It's true. Let's go. It's true. Back and forth. Back and forth. Uh, Preston, would you want to wrap it up here? Sounds good. 
Guys, thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Have a good one.